Hoover police arrest a man they believe struck a pedestrian with his car. Now we want you to take a very close look at this surveillance video right here. This happened Wednesday off Lorna Road at the place at Galleria Apartments. A black Corvette hits one of the two men walking. Then he crashes into a sign. Now police tell us the driver first approached the men, swiped the victim and shouted obscenities at them before driving off. He then came back and hit the man again before finally crashing. The victim was taken to UAB Hospital and treated for a broken clavicle. Police arrested 59-year-old Mark Roland Ritchie. He's charged with attempted murder and DUI. He's being held in the Jefferson County Jail right now in a $31,000 bond. Family and friends will gather later today to say their final farewells to Mike Gelati. Funeral services begin at 3 at River Chase United Methodist. As you may recall, Gelati was shot and killed last week by an unknown person just as he was leaving for the gym in Hoover's Lake Cyrus neighborhood. Right now, police are searching for two suspects who they believe are connected to this case. Police believe the man wearing the dark hoodie right there with lettering is 19 year old who attended Bessemer City High and frequents the McCollin Tannehill areas. Now the second suspect you'll see as well. You'll see him. He's wearing a baseball cap is a known accomplice of the first man. Anyone with information is asked to call Hoover police. That number is 822-5300. Happening today, a Birmingham man will appear on 60 Minutes. Scott Pelly will share Anthony Ray Hinton's story tonight. You may recall Hinton is the Birmingham man who was released from prison last year after 30 years. He was convicted in the murders of two fast food restaurant managers. Experts say there was not enough evidence to prove bullets from the crime belonged to the gun found in Hinton's home. His experience will be part of a story Pelly is doing on three people who were convicted then freed. You can catch a story tonight on WIAT 42 News at 6.